Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel Civil Engineering Easy. After watching this video, you will be able to learn how to find out the interior angle of a traverse from the bearing. And then after finding, we will apply check on those interior angles. The four bearing of a line A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E and E, A is given. The A, B four bearing is 60 degree and 30 minutes. It means that the instrument is at position A and B is sighted. The four bearing is taken as 60 degree and 30 minutes. Let's draw the figure of the traverse for better understanding. Mark a point A and draw a north arrow on it. Let me show you the quadrant used in the compass survey. That is the first quadrant, the second, third and fourth quadrant. So 60 degree and 30 minutes is in the first quadrant. Take 60 degree and 30 minutes from the north and draw a line and mark point B at the end of the line. Draw a quadrant at B. Next is the four bearing of BC. Now the instrument is shifted to a position B and C is sighted. The recorded four bearing of BC is 122 degree and 0 minutes. So 122 degree 0 minutes lies in the second quadrant and draw it. Now the four bearing from C to world D is 46 degree and 0 minute. That is the first quadrant. From D to world E is 205 degree and 30 minutes. That lies in the third quadrant. In the last from E to A is 300 degree that lies in the fourth quadrant. That lies in the fourth quadrant. And it will join the second quadrant of point A. Now this is the complete figure of the traverse. Next tip is to find out the interior angle. For that, you need to use parallel line concept. That is very easy. The north lines at point A and B are parallel and their respective horizontal lines are parallel to each other. So the angle 60 degree 30 minute subtended with north at point A will be at point B. As you can see 122 degree 0 minute is the bearing of BC. Then how to find out this remaining angle for that subtract 122 degree 0 minute from 180 degree we will get 58 degree. Now come to point C. The angle 58 degree will be equal to this angle that must be 58 degree. So subtract this 58 degree from the 180 degree we will get the interior angle that is 122 degree. Now subtract 46 degree from 180 degree, we will get 134 degree. Now at point D, we have a 4 bearing that is 205 degree and 30 minutes. Subtract 180 degree from 205 degree and 30 minutes to find out the remaining angle. That is 25 degree and 30 minutes. But we need to find out the interior angle that is 46 degree with the vertical line at point C equal to the 46 degree made with the vertical line at point D. Subtract 25 degree and 30 minutes from 46 degree we will get the anterior angle at point D that is 20 degree and 30 minutes. Now at point E the four bearing of EA is 300 degree we need to find out the remaining angle to complete the circle at point E that is 60 degree. And this angle will be equal to 25 degree and 30 minutes. That is by using the parallel line concept. Now come to the point A. This 60 degree will be equal to this one. Subtract 60 degree and 60 degree 30 minutes from 180 degree to get the anterior angle at point A. This will be 59 degree and 30 minutes. Now add up all those anterior angles, we will get angle A is equal to, anterior angle A is equal to 59 degree 30 minutes. Anterior angle B is equal to 60 degree 30 minutes plus 58 degree that will be equal to 118 degree and 30 minutes. Anterior angle C will be equal to 122 degree 134 degree that will be equal to 256 degree and 0 minute. Anterior angle D will be equal to 20 degree and 30 minutes. Anterior angle E is equal to 60 degree plus 25 degree and 30 minutes that will be equal to 85 degree 30 minutes. Now we need to apply a check on the anterior angle whether our calculation is correct or not. For that we have a formula that the sum of anterior angles of a traverse is equal to 2n minus 4 and to 90 degree where n is the number of side 
In our case, we have 5 sided traverse, so n will be equal to 5. By putting the values in the equation, 2 into 5 minus 4 into 90, 10 minus 4 is equal to 6 and 290 is 540 degree. According to this formula, we must have the interior angle equal to 540 degree. Add up all those calculated interior angles of the traverse and compare it with the formula. After the addition of all these angles, we will get 540 degree. Hence, our calculation is correct. For calculation of bearing from the included angle, watch my second video. The link is in the description part of this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.